Today's video is kindly sponsored by Simply Safe. Hello everybody, welcome to the horror movie room. Now, if you are not an OG Lone Fox follower or you've been on the channel since I moved into this apartment, you would know this room as the horror movie room. And when I moved into here, this room was actually covered completely in dark wood paneling. The quick fix was to change the wall color. And so I painted it Chantilly Lace, which is the white color that I used throughout the entire apartment. And it's been pretty much the same since I renovated it a while back. But you guys, something about this room being optic white is just not the vibe at the moment. Like it's really not what I'm loving right now. And I wanna go ahead and change this up. So I thought we would do a horror movie room facelift today. And it's such a small space. I've been really, really just like creatively thinking lately. And I just wanna go ahead and do something fun. And another exciting note about today's video is that it is kindly sponsored by Simply Safe. Last year, I actually worked with them throughout the entire year and they wanted to resume this year. And I, of course, said yes because I've been loving, loving working with them. I absolutely love my Simply Safe. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more on that in just a bit. But look what I bought. I got this, you guys. I bought a paint sprayer. I have been wanting to spray the walls so badly. It looks so satisfying. So I went to Lowe's this morning, splurged and bought a paint sprayer because you guys see me painting walls. I think I'm the, the biggest painter ever. Like all I do is paint and I'm just always changing things with paint. So I figured why not invest in something that makes it a little bit quicker. So I definitely want a lighter option in here. The one that I'm kind of gravitating towards the most is this color right here called Hazy Skies. I just feel like it looks so pretty with the wood on the trim and it also looks really nice with the wood on the floor down here because they're a little bit different. Alrighty guys, color has been determined. I think we're gonna do the Hazy Skies color, that Benjamin Moore one. And when I was at Lowe's this morning getting that paint gun, I actually came across these and they are scotch tape and plastic with dispenser. And this is basically like plastic already attached to the tape. So I can tape and mask off everything because we're gonna be paint spraying. We have to absolutely mask everything in the space. Paint can basically get on anything. So anywhere you don't want it, you have to cover it up. So let's get started with that. Ew, that is a spider. That's literally a spider right there. No, it's dead. I just don't want it in the frame. The taping is going well. I've only spent about 30 minutes so far, but honestly, it's almost done. I just need to finish up the wood on the inside here. Definitely want to preserve that because I love the color of it. We're going to be removing these blinds in here because they're just so tacky. So everything is now taped off in here. I also removed the light fixture, taped off all the windows, covered all of the wood, the window, the floor, absolutely everything. And we are ready to break out the paint sprayer, which I'm a little scared about, but also very excited. our moment of truth. Now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and put a mask on. I'm going to change my outfit and everything, but I wanted to just do a test spray just right here to see if it's working. I connected it all up. I added the paint to the bucket here, which I also poured all over the table, and we're going to give it a go, I guess. I guess we'll turn it on and see. Doesn't work. Oh, Not working. Love that for me. <gasps> you guys, I'm back. I fixed it. I literally fixed it. I realized this one, the smaller one, actually had a plastic tube connecting kind of this point here to this point here. So I added that plastic tube onto this one. And now look. I'm so excited. I'm going to go get changed really quickly and start painting. Oh, 
updates with my first time using the paint gun. Now, it is so easy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've already painted basically from right around there all the way to halfway in this doorway. I did that entire section in probably 15 minutes, maybe even less than that. It's just going very, very smoothly. So let's keep going. You guys, I have paint my eyelashes. They're stuck to my eyelid, I think. So I went ahead and applied the full coat. It is currently drying. It might look a little splotchy in some areas. This is also a satin finish, so it has like a light bit of sheen to it. I'm gonna do the second coat probably off camera tonight. I need to go clean this paint off my face. I cannot believe I painted this entire thing in probably 45 minutes. I suggest getting a paint sprayer if you are a big painter like myself. Good morning guys. I am about to head home to my parents, which is a lovely six and a half hour drive. It's honestly not bad though. It gives me a lot of time to listen to podcasts and music. But before heading out, I'm going to go ahead and set my Simply Safe, which I always set before leaving absolutely anywhere, just making sure that my apartment stays nice and secure. And I'm gonna let you guys know a little bit more info on Simply Safe. A little over a year ago, I installed my Simply Safe system in my apartment. And ever since, we've actually installed one in my parents' house, my aunt's house, and also both of my brother's apartments. It is just an incredible home security system made simpler. All the protection that you need without the hassle, headaches, or expensive costs. And the great thing about Simply Safe is it is shipped directly to your doorstep, and you can easily set up the system in about 30 minutes. It comes with all the sensors that you need to cover every window, room and door, security cameras. They even have a new outdoor HD camera, which is amazing, video doorbell and a ton of great extras like smart locks and water sensors. I personally ended up installing a Simply Safe because I moved out of a larger apartment complex and into a duplex in Los Angeles that was on a main street. So I knew I wanted just a little bit more security. There wasn't that kind of main entrance with a lobby. I literally have my doorstep on the street and I just wanted to make sure I felt secure in my space. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how much does something like this cost? Now the professional monitoring service costs less than a dollar per day, which is far less than any other home security brand. Plus trying Simply Safe is totally risk-free. If you don't absolutely love your system, you could send it back within 60 days for a full refund. But on top of these offers, Simply Safe is offering the Lone Fox family an extra 20% off of their security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and you get your first month for free. So you can visit simplysafe.com slash Lone Fox to learn more. So I have made it to my parents' house and today is thrifting day, which is extremely exciting, especially where they live because the thrift stores are more mom and pop. It's a very small town. And I feel like a lot of the stuff isn't picked over and there's a lot of very vintage -y and antique finds in their area. So I always love thrifting when I come here. All right guys, found some pretty good stuff at the first thrift store. I found these two lamps here, which I'm not gonna of course use in the space, but I just wanted them for maybe a future bedroom makeover. They're perfect. And then I found a bunch of really great wooden frames and also just a couple of little candle holders. This one was a bit expensive, $10, but it's solid brass and I love the shape of it. And then this one was just a dollar and then I got this little basket for a dollar as well. Now I'm not particularly looking for anything specific. I do know that I want a furniture piece for the space, something very kind of statementy and unique. However, it's something that needs to go underneath the window so on the smaller side and then of course if we could find any unique or you know antique vintage style decor that would also be nice because I kind of want this to reflect the new dining room space as well incorporate some of those vintagey antique vibes change the color in here. So I got home from my parents' house last night and you guys saw that I got a bunch of great thrift finds in Arizona. And when I got home, I walked into this space and it just was not the color I was thinking it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a lot moodier, a lot darker. It was just coming up as like a bright kind of salary green color, a little bit lighter than that. But overall, it just was not the vibe I was going for. I did put something a little bit moody in here, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to take it this dark. And when I got back and realized it just wasn't the color I was looking for, I decided to go full force in this 
color here is called Black Fox by Sherwin Williams. Very fitting. It's just like this really great kind of dark gray with a tinge of brown in it, almost black, but not quite black. And I just absolutely love the color. I think it's so fun. It looks great with the wood trim in here. We have wood on the walls as well. So what we need to do today is actually go in and add some of the hardware. So I need to add the new light fixture. I got it from Amazon and the outlet covers. Um, let me grab them and show them to you. Okay, you guys, look at this. So this is a light fixture I picked. Now it's probably a little bit blown out on camera. It is beautiful. I absolutely love this light fixture. I found it on Amazon for a great price. And then I found these for only $5 a piece and they're brass outlet covers, but look at the detail on those. And I'm gonna go through and add these on the outlets and hang up our light fixture. the white medallion unpainted. I was always planning on painting this once it's all up, but I kind of like the white because it coordinates back to the shade. Alrighty, we are making some great progress in here. The light fixture was installed, and I do apologize about some of the filming in here, you guys. With a small space, dark colors, and a lot of natural light, it's kind of hard to get the lighting correct. But we added the light fixture. I also added the brass outlet covers, which looks so great in here. And I'm now going to dabble into a DIY that I'm a little nervous about, but I've done it a couple of times, and that is mercury glassing all of the mirror behind me. So this mirror was actually on here when we moved in. It was on a lot of the apartment, if you guys remember. A lot of the walls were covered in the mirrors and we actually had them all removed except for this section here Which the landlord actually said we can have these removed too But I just left them for the time being and now I want to mercury glass them because we can always remove them if they don't look great But I think mercury glass would be such a vibe in here Especially with our light our moody colors all the warmth from the wood. It just sounds like a lot of fun Tape off anywhere that you don't want the alcohol ink or spray paints to get onto I sprayed a coat of this looking glass spray paint, which is supposed to emulate the look of a mirror, but I actually sprayed it on top of the mirror to kind of dull down the actual finish of what was the mirror before. If you guys can see, this kind of gives the mirror a bit of a hazy effect. Just kind of makes it look a little bit more antiqued. It's not as like sharp as a normal mirror would be. I next took the magic product, which is alcohol ink. I used the color mushroom to start and gave the full mirror a coat of the mushroom alcohol ink. This really gives like a vintage metal look. And as you can see, as you layer them up, the edges kind of get darker. The center kind of becomes a bit more transparent and you can build and layer this color up to create a really unique stained effect. I also added a little bit of the alcohol ink in the color ginger, which I feel like gives a really warm, rusty effect to the mirror, which I love. So I added this just randomly around the mirror and I finished it off with a little bit of spray paint. I actually used some metallic gold and this burnished amber, which I just sprayed randomly over the top of the mirror and just blotted off any excess with a paper towel. I am so pleased with how this mercury glass turned out. Now I'm gonna come up a little bit closer. It's really hard to see on camera, but you guys look how pretty this looks. All the different layers, there's warmth in there, there's like golds and coppers, lots of distressing on the surface, and it's actually really hazy as well. It's perfect. This literally looks like legit mercury glass. Very happy with this. I'm gonna remove the plastic, and then we can get a sense for how it looks in the space. Let go. And there's no 
look at our curtains, you guys. I created these yesterday, and I will tell you guys right now, they were a bit of a challenge. Now, if you remember back to my bathroom, I actually created two Roman shades following a tutorial here on YouTube. I'll link it below. It's from the DIY Mommy. And I loved her tutorial. It was really easy to follow. And I went ahead and tried it for this window. But I think because this window was a lot longer and a bit more of an awkward size, it was just not turning out, you guys. Like, I got this huge blister on my finger yesterday from trying to create these curtains. I don't know what was happening, but I ended up essentially ruining them and they looked absolutely awful. So I added these straps to kind of camouflage the awfulness because we don't actually open and close these curtains. So I think it looks pretty good if I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it just like adds a little bit of detail and I think that it ties it back to the rug perfectly. I've actually also decided to rename this space. I don't think it's gonna be the horror movie room anymore. It is the vibe room because it is such a vibe in here. And today we are adding the rest of the vibes with the decor. And I love this space because a lot of the interest came in the steps before the decor. So I feel like we just need minimal accessories to kind of make this space really pretty because it already is. Top of the bar, we're gonna need some alcohol, of course. I opted for all of the brown alcohol. I hate brown alcohol. I mean, I've never liked a brown alcohol I've tried, but it looks the prettiest on top, so we're gonna be adding it. I have these coupe glasses from Ikea, if you guys remember, and this room gets just the best sunlight on top of this bar, especially. So I love how the little facets in the glass kind of shine everywhere. Of course, we gotta have a cocktail shaker and a little bottle opener. These are from my online shop. I love these, a little touch of texture and this kind of rattan woven vibe. I'm going to add those over on the right there. And last but not least, this taper holder here, the brass base. I found it at the thrift store and I added one of those uh, just beeswax tapers in there. And I think that's all I'm going to do to the top of the bar. This little bar being here, you guys, is just so practical. I just filled the inside with all the rest of our bar supplies and it is just perfect. So we have glassware on the top here. Then in the middle, there's just a couple extra bottles and some bar tools there. And then we have some games. And if you guys remember, I got this little vintage bowl at the thrift store and I put our cards and ping pong balls in there. It is just so cute. I'm very, very pleased with how this turned out. The room's done, you guys. It is complete, and I am so, 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 so happy with the outcome of this room. I was a little bit nervous going into redoing it because I knew it was a space that was really small. I didn't know if the dark color was gonna make it feel even smaller, how it was gonna turn out, but I knew there was a large window in here, and I just wanted to play around and have some fun and just go a little bit more on the edge of design and just try something a bit different, and I just love, love, love the outcome. I feel like this is now a room that you wanna come in, you wanna stay in here for a little bit, maybe listen to music, and I know it's such a small space, but it's attached to the dining room, and I just think it is truly perfect. color to the DIY mercury glass to the light fixture and the curtains I am absolutely in love with the outcome of the space I feel like it is a whole new aesthetic I think it's just such a fun inviting space that kind of just creates a bar vibe and I feel like this room is just much more practical now before there was a bench under the window there wasn't really a purpose for this space but now I really feel like we can call it a vibe room and I feel like that's what we're gonna change the name to and I truly am so happy with the outcome of this makeover Don't 
forget that you could save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for the interactive monitoring plan and you get your first month for free. So visit simplysafe.com/lonefox to learn more.